We're taught in our society, in our culture, that we humans are apart from nature. Maybe that's not a direct message. They don't say you are apart from nature, but our messaging continually is we're apart from nature. It's out there, it's dirty. We're over here, we're in control. We can buy insurance, we can, we can uh, buy a nice house, we can insulate ourselves from the natural environment. And we start to think that we're not part of the natural environment. We are absolutely part of nature. We are part of the universe. When we ignore that fact, we will make decisions that are not in our best interest because we think we're apart from nature and we can control it, but you, we can't. Nature's gonna do what nature's going to do. For example, we need to learn not to consume more than we can replace. Let's look at trees, deciduous trees in the fall. When the light starts to wane during the day, the deciduous trees will drop their leaves. Why do they do this? Because leaves are very expensive for a tree to produce. Energy-wise, they cost a lot. When the sun is shining a lot of the day, the expense is worth it because they earn an energy profit despite the cost of the leaves. When, they, when the sun starts to wane, they wisely drop their leaves because they cost more than they're getting from them. You may notice that the trees never ask for government bailouts to keep their leaves through the winter. They know when it's done. It waxes, it wanes. It's time to drop the leaves. We need to also understand that when we're doing things like overfishing in the Atlantic fisheries or cutting down all the redwood, the old growth redwood in the Northwest, if we ignore the slower levels of nature that are operating underneath our current day-to-day -day operations, we will start to consume more than nature can replace, faster than nature can replace it. This is like spending down the principal in a bank account. You get $10 million, you put it in the bank. If you just live off the interest, that $10 million will sit there forever. If you start tapping into the principal and spending down the $10 million, eventually it'll run out. It's no different with the fish on the East Coast or the, or the lumber in the Pacific Northwest. Nature never spends the principal. Nature lives on the interest. We need to learn to do this too.